this little camera has a feature about it that just makes family vlogging so incredibly simple. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, my name is Zach. I'm a photographer and videographer, but more importantly than that, I am a husband and a father. And this is the Insta360 GO 3S. And I have been using this recently as a family vlog camera, family action camera. Um, and there is a feature about this camera that I just think is so incredibly amazing for families who are wanting to document life, but don't really know too much about making videos or don't really feel like they have the time and effort to fully put into figuring out how to make videos. There's a feature here that makes this process so easy and so simple and really just takes a lot of the work out of your hands. And so I wanna talk about it. And that is the interval filming on this camera. So what is interval filming? Let's start with that. Interval filming is a feature on this camera that allows you to take videos uh, however long you want. Maybe it's 30 seconds, maybe it's a minute every so often. So you turn this setting on um, and every three minutes, let's say, it's going to film for 30 seconds and then it'll stop filming, turn itself off and in three minutes it'll turn itself back on and continue filming until you decide to stop it or the camera itself runs out of battery. And what's cool about this is you can take the camera out of its pod, you can put it in its little hat mount or its uh, little magnet mount and you can clip it to your head or your shirt, whatever, and just film. And then you can just forget about it. I mean, yeah, you look a little silly with this thing on your head, but you forget about it and you let the camera do the work of filming life. Once that's done, you can then very easily edit that footage into a video. And so with a minimal amount of work, you've been able to document a day in your family's life and create a fun little video of it. So let's talk about this feature, how it works in my best setting recommendations for you. Okay, so let's start by setting up interval filming on the camera, I'll show you what you gotta do. Okay, so setting up your interval filming is honestly really simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna swipe down and you're gonna go to this little auto button here. You can choose from some different presets they have for you um, based on different activities or you can create your own. So let's go ahead and create our own. Now, what you're gonna do is you've got a different, couple different settings you wanna choose. You want your duration, your interval, and then your video settings. So let's go ahead and go in here and customize this. I want my interval to be every two minutes, and I want my duration to be 30 seconds. My video mode is video, or my shooting mode is video. Uh, specifications, I want this 2K um, and I'm gonna do 24 frames per second. I want mega view, um, auto all settings, tilt fix on. Okay, there we go. Once I've got that the way I want it, all I then do is hit next. You have the option to film only when it's not in the pod or when it is in the pod. I'm gonna go ahead and do when it's not in the action pod and confirm. Once you've got all your settings right, you go ahead and power the camera off, and then the task will start once you pull it out of the camera. Okay. Now it is recording, and it'll record for the next 30 seconds. And that's all you have to do to set up the interval filming. Okay, so let's talk about some tips to get the most out of this interval filming, starting off with Filming in 2K at 24 frames per second. This is my personal choice for filming. Uh, I don't necessarily need the 4K, 2K is plenty. 24 frames are uh, the frames that I want to use. I don't want to use 30. Um, and so 24 frames, perfect for me. Tip number two, utilize the sounds of the camera to know when you're filming and when you're not filming. The camera will make a little beep if you have this turned on. Uh, when it is filming and then another beep when it turns off. This is extremely helpful to know, you know, if you're filming, but also it helps you get in that mindset of, oh, okay, I'm filming. I wanna make sure I'm capturing what I wanna capture. So when we were at the beach and I had this camera on, if I heard that beep, I knew that I wanted to do some things to get shots. Maybe I wanted to go underwater. Maybe I wanted to swim up to the family and be like, all right guys, wave at the camera, whatever. It just allows me to know when I am filming and when I'm not filming. That way, if there's like a moment that I wanna capture, but I'm not filming, I will intentionally wait for that beep and then start that moment. Uh, so it just helps you get in the mindset of when you're filming and when you're not filming. 
My next tip is use the interval filming as a way to challenge yourself to grow in your vlogging abilities. So I think talking to a camera in public can be really intimidating and just talking to a camera in general can be really intimidating. But what I think this feature can do is help you grow in your abilities to do that. So it's really hard just to sit down or to have a camera and start walking around and talking to it. But what you can do is use this camera to break that down into more bite sizable pieces. So set up your interval vlogging so that every five minutes, your camera will turn on for 30 seconds and use that as a way to challenge yourself. When it beeps and when it's recording, you pull it out and you start talking to it. Whether you're out in public, whether you're you know in your car, whatever, just use that as a way to challenge yourself to start vlogging. So then all you're having to do is talk to the camera for 30 seconds. And from that, you'll get like a nice little storyline of your day. You know, drive around, go to the, the grocery store and when it beeps, pull it out and vlog it. No matter where you are, just use that as a way to challenge yourself. And as you do that, you're gonna get more comfortable, you're gonna get better at it. And it's just an easy way to get you more comfortable vlogging with a camera. My next clip is don't get too many clips. So you can go, you can record until you run out of space or run out of battery on here. But when you do that, you're gonna end up with a ton of clips and sometimes sorting through all those clips, picking out the best ones can be overwhelming. So for me, my ideal is like 15 to 20. Anything beyond that and it just becomes overwhelming. So stick to a certain amount of clips that you know for you is usable. You don't want it to be overwhelming. I was trying to think of what's the word for like opposite of overwhelming. Underwhelming? Appropriate? I don't know. The next tip is test out interval filming before you actually really want to use it. For me, the first couple of times using it, it was just trying to get used to it because I was trying to figure out what is the best interval in which to film in. Is it 30 seconds? Is it two minutes? How often should I film? All this sort of stuff. So for me, the first couple of times using it, they didn't necessarily go as I wanted to, and I wish I had tested it out more in advance. So figure out for you, what is your ideal duration of filming and interval of filming? Uh, figure out you know how best to, to wear the camera, whether it's on the hat clip or on the magnet. Figure out what works best for you, but test it out in advance so that when it comes time that you actually want to use it and you actually want to get the most out of it, you're already comfortable and you have an idea of what you want your settings to be. So for me, I figured out that my ideal filming settings are to film for 30 seconds every two minutes. Now, this might seem like a lot of footage, but again, I'm not filming for you know an hour long. I will use these settings for at max 20 minutes. And that way I get around 10, 15, maybe if I go over clips, 30 second long clips that I can use. This gives me the perfect amount of footage, the perfect amount of you know, vlogging content from whatever it is that we're doing. Um, and then I can do this multiple times throughout the day. If I wanna do 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, and so on and so on, that allows me to get a good idea of what the day looked like and document that day through this process. Next tip is make sure you have your camera setting with the horizon lock placed on. Uh, there were multiple times where I was using the camera and it either went vertical or went upside down because I didn't have that on and it just kind of messes with the footage and complicates everything. So if you know that you want to be filming it, um, you know, in one certain way, make sure you turn that horizon lock on, avoid the hassle after the fact. So my next tip comes to the accessories that you're going to use for the camera. So I personally like the hat clip over the necklace. Um, to me, I just like the POV that you get up here instead of on your chest. Um, I feel like my arms are always blocking it or whatever, um, but I like being able to, when I move my head, I can see, you know, the camera sees what I'm seeing. Uh, with that though, I have found that the ideal field of view for this is put it on your hat and then two clicks down. That gives me the perfect POV uh, and maybe for you, it's a little bit different. Um, so test that out, figure out what works best for you. But I know, and I love this little tactile, like one, two, I know I'm in the right setting. And then with the magnet pendant, like I said, I don't really like it. I don't like the POV that I get from it. I don't like seeing my arms like right in front of it. Um, but if I am using that, I know that I wanna raise that necklace up as high as I can. I don't really love it down here because the further down it looks, it goes just the worse it looks to me. 
the higher up, the better. So if I am gonna use the magnet pendant, I'm gonna keep it up really high. And again, I think this comes down to just trying it out and testing out what you like and what you prefer and creating a simple process for using that. So for me, it's like, I know that two clicks down means I'm in the right spot. Right about here means I'm in the right spot. Figure that out for yourself. Now the final tip, and this is a big one, because one of the things that I didn't love about this camera and the interval filming feature was that if I was in the interval filming and there was something that happened that I wanted to film, uh, I couldn't just like hit the button and start recording, which I think is a big thing. Like I wish they would just do like a firmware update where while you're in interval filming, if you hit the button, it'll override it and you can start filming. Not an option, that's okay. But you can override it if you put it back into the pod and then start recording. That will override the interval filming and then when you take it out, it'll just start that interval filming right back up as if you hadn't missed a beat. Um, so I think that is a really, really cool feature. Um, the only downside is you then have to make sure you have the pod with you. But if there is something that you want to film and you want to stop the interval filming and interrupt it, you can do that. You just need the pod to do that. But in order to do that, you have to make your settings so that uh, you're filming only the interval filming when it is out of the pod. So after you've done your interval filming, your next step is to edit your content. And it's incredible how easy Insta360 has made this process with AI. So realistically, all you have to do is put the camera back into the pod, connect it to your phone, and then in your phone, you can go through and you can pick out a template that you want. So you find a template that you like, you choose that, and then you can allow the camera to do all the work itself. It'll go through your footage, it'll pick the best shots for you, and it'll create a video for you. Or you can go in and kind of customize it. Either way, once it does the work, you can watch your video back. If there's something you wanna change, then you can go in and quickly edit that. But all in all, in a very short amount of time with a very minimal amount of work, you can create a fun little video that summarizes up your interval filming with which can ideally summarize up, you know, your family day in, in the life or, or whatever. Uh, to me, like this feature makes, like is the big thing that makes this camera worth it. Like I know a lot of people out there think the 4K and all that stuff, but to me, it's this feature. Like something that is so easy to use, just so easy to, to document life, to literally turn on a few settings, put on the hat clip, and then just let the camera do all the work. And then when you pull the footage into the app, you're letting the app do all the work. To me, it's a no brainer in filming family life because it's just so simple. It takes the work out of your hands and it allows you to document your family life in such an easy way. So I, to me personally, love it. This will always stay in my bag simply for that reason, because I want to be able to use that interval feature uh, interval filming feature. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick little uh, how to use the interval filming. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. Uh, if you like this video, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, uh, and I will talk to you in the next one.